Science 3. Roots, Stems, and Leaves. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify the parts of the plant and their subparts, describe each part of the plant and its function, and tell and appreciate the importance of each part of the plant. Look at the picture. What do you see in the picture? Very good, it is a tomato plant. Can you describe this plant? What are the parts? Like animals, plants have different body parts that enable them to live and grow well. Almost all plants have roots, stems, and leaves. Some plants bear flowers and fruits. How would you describe its roots, stems, and leaves? What are their functions? The roots grow under the soil. They anchor the plant to the ground from which they absorb water and nutrients. They also hold the plant firmly to the ground. The roots have three main parts. These are primary roots, secondary roots, and root hairs. The primary root is the largest in size and grows downward into the soil. Secondary roots are smaller than the primary root. They grow from the sides of the primary root. The root hairs are very small hair-like structures growing on the surface of the secondary roots. There are two types of roots, taproots and fibrous roots. A taproot has one large main root with smaller roots branching out. Sugar beet, carrot, and radish are examples of taproots. The fibrous root is a network of slender roots. Hence, its fiber-like appearance. It has no main root. Rice, corn, grass, and onion have fibrous roots. Stems grow above the soil. Some stems are hard, while others are soft. Stems connect the roots to the leaves of the plant. The stems also have tiny tubes in them called phloem and xylem where nutrients and water pass through. The stem also serves as the plant's storage for food and water. The mature stem of trees is called trunk. The part that covers the trunk is called bark. Trunks have branches, which look like smaller and thinner stems. Branches extend on the sides of the stem. They are the ones that hold the leaves in place. Sometimes tiny openings called lenticels are found along the stems and branches of trees. There are two types of stems, herbaceous and woody. Herbaceous stems are soft and flexible. Most of them are used for medicinal purposes. Examples of plants with herbaceous stems are concon, aloe vera, garlic, oregano, mayana, lettuce, ferns. Woody stems are hard and stiff. They are covered with bark. Examples of plants with woody stems are various kinds of trees like nera, mango, and coconut. Another examples are santan, rose, gumamela, and rosal, which have short and hard stems or what we call shrubs. Unlike animals, plants can produce their own food. The part of the plant that produces food is called a leaf. Leaves are considered to be the food factory of plants. The process by which plants make food is called photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, the chlorophyll in plants' leaves traps energy from the sun and converts carbon dioxide and water into oxygen and sugar. A leaf has different parts, midrib, veins, blade, apex, base, and margin. The base is the lower part of the leaf. The tip of the leaf is called apex. The midrib runs along the middle part of the leaf from the base to the apex. The margin is the side or edge of the leaf. The entire surface of the leaf is called blade. The lines on the surface are called veins. The pattern of the veins is called venation. The veins of a leaf may have netted or parallel venation. The leaves of plants such as rose, beans, and mango have netted venation. The leaves of corn, rice, and bamboo have parallel venation. To check how well you understood the lesson, let us have a short exercise. Identify what is being asked. 1. What do you call the part that makes food for the plant? The answer is, leaf. 
2. Which part of the plant serves as the storage for food and water? The answer is, stem. 3. What do you call the part that grows under the soil and anchors the plant to the ground from which they absorb water and nutrients? The answer is, roots. 4. What are the two types of stems? The answers are, herbaceous and woody stems. 5. What are the different parts of the leaves? The answers are, midrib, veins, blade, apex, base, and margin. You are awesome! You got them right! 